I got started in beekeeping, I you know, quickly realized that bees were kind of at jeopardy throughout the world. And also, you know, Cayman was no exception. Bees are under threat from diseases and development everywhere you go. So just to, to, to be an, an active beekeeper, I was excited that I was able to contribute to the environment and sustainable agriculture and just promote healthy, you know, natural lifestyle um, for myself and my family, and then, you know, offer that to the community. So we've been in operation for over five years now, and the company was named after my daughter, Reagan. So when she was born, we got interested in honey, which led to beekeeping, and we got Reagan's honey. Five years later, we're a fully functioning apiary and produce some of the best honey on the island. There are attack bees that are, are guard bees that are, at, are stationed at the front of the hive. So any intruder will set off an alarm and those guard bees will, will put out a pheromone or a scent to alert the other bees that there's an intruder and you sh they should launch an attack. So what the smoke does is just clouds that communication. As much as we can, we like to take our time, and it's pretty therapeutic, to be honest. I'm a nature lover at heart, you know, so that's one of the things that got me into it. The bees are, you know, not as concerned with you if you take your time, and you just feel, you know, it's, it's, it's a bit euphoric. So our, our apiary is on about a couple acres, and it's tucked away in a logwood forest and there's adequate foraging for the bees. So the bees will have a lot to feed on through the year where we decided to place the apiary. We like to have as little manipulation of the bees as, as possible so they can do their thing and we just let nature take its course. So all of this that's waxed over is pure honey, just waiting to be eaten by the bees or extracted by us. So this here now, there's a lot of honey still in this wax. What we're gonna do is strain that out and let that sit for a few hours and we'll get the honey from there as well. So that wax that we're taking off here now, we're gonna melt that down in and make pure beeswax and that'll be able to turn into different products like candles and soaps and whatnot. But the bulk of it will be in the extractor. So you see it's starting to drip already. Bring this over here. Okay. Each harvest now, you know, we're getting more and more honey. Started from like a few gallons to, you know, you know, five gallons each time now, or it's, it's really adding up. It's a very, very proud feeling to see people, you know, using our products and, you know, asking for it, even when it's, you know, out of supply. I'll take Reagan's honey as far as it'll go, um, and my plan for it is to pass it down to my kids. So I want to teach them, you know, an appreciation for nature and appreciation for the environment and for, you know, sustainable living. Our plan is for, for Reagan's honey to be passed down generations. 